Hello and welcome back. Thanks for tuning in to this introduction to maintenance KPIs and metrics. In this video, we'll describe the difference between metrics and KPIs, explain why it's important for maintenance teams to set goals and track progress, present some examples of KPIs and metrics in action, and offer tips for setting KPIs and tracking progress with metrics. How do maintenance teams know when they're doing a good job or when they've got room for improvement with the help of key performance indicators and metrics? All maintenance teams have effectively the same big goal, create a productive environment so the broader organization can deliver on its goals. Metrics give you a way of summarizing performance and understanding success, while maintenance KPIs help focus your efforts on specific objectives. The terms KPIs and metrics are often used interchangeably, but are they synonymous? No. For maintenance teams, metrics and KPIs have distinct meanings. To put it simply, KPIs are strategic, while metrics are tactical. Think of it like this. Your KPIs are like a compass, showing you the way to your destination. Metrics are more like directions, providing small steps to help you get there. Here's an example. Let's say you've set a goal to reduce your maintenance backlog by 30% over the next three months. You analyze your performance data and learn that you've got a problem with reactive maintenance. You're spending so much time reacting to breakdowns that your team doesn't have enough time for all of their scheduled maintenance tasks. To get at the root cause of the issue, you'll need to dig into maintenance metrics, including first-time fix rate, maintenance overtime, and planned maintenance percentage. That analysis should help you identify the steps for correcting the problem. Which KPIs and metrics are most important? It depends. Your essential KPIs and metrics will vary based on your particular challenges and objectives. Consider the areas where your team could most afford to improve or where improvements to maintenance would most benefit the organization as a whole. If you're interested in improving maintenance work efficiency, you might track metrics like mean time to repair, maintenance backlog, or overtime hours. To improve asset reliability, you'll start by collecting and analyzing data related to metrics like mean time between failures, mean time to failure, and total effective equipment performance. When you set KPIs and commit to reporting on metrics, it's important to tie them to broader goals and define specific steps for success. Try employing the SMART framework. SMART goals are specific. Thanks to clear definitions and communication, everyone understands the who, what, when, where, and why of goals, metrics, and KPIs. Measurable. Each KPI and business goal should have unique success criteria. Achievable. Don't aim too high and set impossible KPIs. You should challenge your team and keep them motivated while ensuring you don't ask them for too much. Realistic. Your goals should make sense for the time frame you've established and the resources you have at your disposal. Timely. You should introduce a sense of urgency supported by due dates and clear milestones. Reduce unexpected downtime by 30% over the next 12 months. Decrease energy consumption by 15% by the end of the year. Achieve 97% inventory accuracy levels this quarter. Need help prioritizing maintenance goals and tracking your team's performance? Subscribe and visit LimbleCMMS.com to learn more about how our platform can empower your organization's unsung heroes.